This is Kadarko Community, a rural settlement in Kiana Lohu government area of Nasarawa State, Nigeria. Though they may be rich in salt, zinc, lead, and limestone, majority of the people in this district are poor in health. As part of a mission to bring in health care closer to those below the poverty line, when in Need Foundation is on a relief mission with one goal in mind, putting smiles on their faces. From the early hours of the morning, they gathered at the Kadarko Health Care Clinic in their hundreds, from the elderly, the youth and children. Inside, When in Need Foundation, with a team of medical professionals, are setting up, eager to attend to the health needs of the community and environs. Fifty-nine-year-old Annie Joseph is the first to be attended to. He says the news of the visit of Wayne Foundation to the village had been spreading like wildfire and he knew he must not be left out. When I was passing I'm going market, somebody told me, but in the church, in the Catholic church here, they, told, they give us even the card that you are coming. So I was happy because the, when I read the, 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 the program, I'm involved with in something like I, and this I'm suspecting diabetes. Although I know I tested the other time, they say it's no, but I feel because the pain is too much for me. I say, both of diabetes and this thing, because of that, I will come to know the truth about it. He had his vitals checked, had free consultation, visited the eye doctors, and came happy and fulfilled. In fact, I thank God I'm happy, but the most thing that makes me happy is that the way on attend me and the, the, everything, they give me grass, they give me uh, this thing for eye, they still give me medicine for this body. In fact, I never take them, but I feel happy. I started feeling okay, sir. I was happy in short. Uh, yes. I thank God and I ask to go to brace owner because it's not easy. And all these things are free. Nobody say one night I come out. So I say, God will bless you people. I have actually vowed that I will spend or use my earnings, my salaries, whatever I have in savings to do this mission. Chetachim Woga Ecton is the brain behind this mission. Her focus is bringing smiles to the faces of as many as she can. As a mother, I know how it is for the children not to have health care. I know what it is for them to be hungry and don't have water to drink. What is the purpose of gathering a whole lot of people here and 20 or 30 percent are children and you don't have water for them and you don't have food or snacks? You know, in a setting like this, you also want them to be comfortable, regardless of what you're providing, like in medical terms, what you're providing, but you also want them to be happy. You also want them to feel comfortable, you know, to know that there are caring people in their midst, people that love them without even knowing who they are, regardless of the language they speak. By one, these people are receiving the care they so dearly need. 
that she cannot see at all. She cannot see at all. That's what she said. She cannot see your hand. That she's not seeing your hand. She said your hand stand like this. A couple of cases of malaria, peptic ulcer disease, hypertension, diabetes mellitus, respiratory tract infections, and um, urinary tract infections as well. We've been able to counsel them, so a very good benefit to this, especially to the, uh, that this foundation has really brought to these communities. We are not bringing a definitive treatment to many of the, but somehow the awareness and we can also enlighten the indigenous of the need to seek for proper and further medical care outside this, after this program. Pharmacists at the dispensary are having a busy time sorting out prescriptions and handing same to the long queue of patients outside. At the optical corner, it was a very busy time. The opticians and optometrists testing, diagnosizing, and offering relief to their patients. We were able to see a lot of um, um, reported cases. Um, there are a lot of them that have glaucoma, then um, allergic conjunctivitis, bacterial conjunctivitis, and all, 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 all of other cases. So we were able you know, to give, give a lot of them some drugs and some, some lenses to help them to see better. We saw squamous carcinoma, lots of cataracts, various types of cataracts, various lens opacities. Allergies are very common in this rural community today. And then some challenges of uh, photophobia and cold. Then presbyopia are also among the aged. rewarding there is no other happiness in the world than to see myself and my team members providing free medical care and support to those in need as the outreach program comes to an end it remains a day never to be forgotten in the minds of Kadrako community the exercise is going fine I came they tested me and uh, the what is showing me I explained to the doctor and uh, they give me my drug is now in my hand so I'm very grateful. This is the first time I see such an organization that is not corrupt in Nigeria. This is the only first time. I was even when I go, I'm telling my people, say, I never know where these people come, but I know God is going to do something because they do something clean and clean. You know, if anybody talk anything, if you know where I die, I go tell Saint Allah. What they say is what they do. So I thank God and ask God to bless them. Well, I've come here and I even do the eyes pressure to see. Then I went to the general, general doctor to see my body and I've seen it so much. And he had given medicine trust for me to go and then use it. I was given ice uh, glass to drinking one. Money to eat food is another problem. But as they had this, that it's a free kind of med uh, medical uh, treatment. They just, all, all people from the community, they appear to at least have some drugs that they will help themselves. Uh, yes, I have it too, because even I, even I myself have a problem. But lack of money, I did not go to hospital. Uh, there is really nothing fulfilling than to know that at the end of the day, or at the end of the mission, you have helped more people. The volunteer medics say it has been a worthwhile time coming to the aid of these hundreds of vulnerable people. To be honest, it's been wonderful. You know, it's been fulfilling, satisfying. I'm so glad to be part of this initiative. And I must say, When You Need Foundation is doing a fantastic job. You know, it is just exciting to see the smiles on the faces of the patients and all of that, so it's been wonderful. The Win Foundation, you guys are doing well. You guys are doing great time. I pray that God will continue to bless you guys so that you can reach out to more communities. Well, it was a great success, but it was a huge success. In fact, 
um, in this kind of situation, it's just the kind of outreach that helps people. As Chetachi Mwoga Ecton and the Win Foundation team winds up at the Kadarako community in Nasarawa State, Nigeria, she plans to replicate this kind gesture to more communities. From here, we, also, we will be going to Kuje in Abuja for a medical mission. And we'll be visiting an orphanage home in Abuja as well. And then from there, we're heading to Ondo for our last medical mission. Yes, we've done some awareness programs in the neighboring Benin Republic, where we've actually set up some, um, um, uh, with some frameworks, some platforms, and very soon we'll be visiting those parts of, the country, uh, those parts of Africa. One of the major problems we also discovered in this community is access to qualified medical personnel. Like this particular clinic here, they don't have medical doctor stationed there. All they have is ad hoc staffs. So what our, our plan, follow-up plan after this outreach is to see if we can make our stay available a medical doctor that will visit here two times a week so that the uh, ad hoc staff will collect information, then people will come and see doctors two times a week. That's one of our plans moving forward. Ensuring good health and well-being is the third of the United Nations Sustainable Goals. WIN has taken action. It is time to do the same.